Hello, I'm Carl from International Auto Parts. Today we'll be discussing replacing the seal in the Fiat distributor on the dual overhead cam motors. This will apply both to the electronic distributors and the points distributor. Oil coming up from the center shaft of the distributor is a common problem. It's easily fixed by replacing the lower seal. This is a fairly easy job and can be done in a short afternoon. First, let's gather the tools we'll need. You'll need some type of socket wrench or other device to turn the engine to set it at top dead center before you remove the distributor, a timing light to reset the timing, a wrench to remove the hold down nut for the distributor, a punch and hammer to remove the pin in the drive gear, a vise to hold the distributor while you're working on it, some type of screwdriver or other device to remove the old seal, a driver to install the new seal, some grease to lubricate the seal to protect it, some rags, and of course, the new seal. The first step is to get the distributor out of the car. The first thing to do is make sure that the motor is set to top dead center. To do this, use a wrench and socket on the crank nut and rotate the motor clockwise, or you can sometimes put the car in gear and push it forward or reverse and push the car backwards until you're at top dead center. Remove the cap and check that the rotor button is firing on the number four cylinder. Leave the cap off and attach to the wires. This will save time at the end. Then use a 17 millimeter wrench to loosen the nut and remove it and the hold down clamp and then the distributor will pull right out. Once you have the distributor out of the car, the next step is to mount it in the vise to work on it. Now find the large or tapered or flared end of the pin holding the drive gear on. Point that down because the drive pin will only come out one way. Now use the punch and hammer to drive the pin out of the drive gear. Now, remove the drive gear and the washers and shims. Pay close attention to the shim placement so they can be replaced in the same order they were removed. Now, very carefully, drive the shaft inwards until you can place a screwdriver to pry out the old seal. Take a small amount of grease and place on the new seal, both sides, and on slightly on the outer edge. Now, install the new seal in the distributor. This is the most important part. Make sure the open part of the seal, or the side with the spring, is facing outwards or downwards when the distributor is installed. This is very important because this will keep the oil out of the distributor. Use a seal driver and hammer and lightly drive the seal in. Push the shaft back down into the distributor. Replace the shims and washers, again making sure that they're placed back in the same order that they were removed. Replace the drive gear. Line up the holes. Take the pen, find the flared or large tapered end, have that on top, put it in the shaft, and drive the pen in. Now that we have the distributor reassembled, it's ready to go back in the car. This is the opposite procedure of the removal. Just make sure that the rotor button is pointing to the number four cylinder, then replace the cap and wires, slightly tighten down the hold down clamp, then per the instructions, attach the timing light, check the timing, make sure it's within spec of the service manual. Once that's all done, remove the timing light, button up the car, and then you're ready to go down the road without that annoying oil leak. 